Hey guys, our previous lesson was on how to write data into Realm database. This lesson is going to have a tutorial on how to read what you just wrote into Realm database. So get ready for some fun read operations. Hope you're doing great. In our last lesson, we dealt with Realm model example and example application. Realm model example has our database model, name and age. In this lesson, we are going to consume this database from our example application class. So let's begin. In order to query, we need to get our Realm default instance, as we did when we wanted to write into Realm database. Now to query, we're going to create an object of the class realm query and it's going to be of type realm model example. Now I'll name this object user or users because it's going to query all the users and their names and ages. So this is a query to get all the users in the database but the query is not executed until you call find all or find first i will explain that shortly but this is the basic structure of a realm query but there is no filter yet so what we will do now is to add some filters so we can get specific data what i really like about realm is its ease of querying it gives me a very flexible, easy way of querying my database. So right above, our users object has all the users from the database. But perhaps we want to filter it. We could use users.equal to. The first argument is the field name. So what field are we using to filter? We have name and age, so we're going to use name. So we want to get the users with name John. That's all. So you might see some gray writings that they wrote field name and value. That's not code. That's just for my IDE. I guess if you're using the updated Android Studio, you'll see that too. Now we can also add another query to this and say users dot all. We want users whose name is either John. Or James. Now you can look at how easy this is. The query isn't executed but it's ready to be executed right now. Now in order to query our database, our query, that is we have built our query using what we did above, the code above, but it isn't executed yet. So we're going to use realm results because users dot find all returns realm results now realm results actually inherits from abstract list so it behaves in similar ways to abstract list for example realm results are ordered and you can access the individual objects through an index now if a query has no matches the return realm results will be a list of size zero not null now, as you can see, we can do what we normally do with abstract list. You can get position zero and the likes. So, realm results are also live views. That is, they automatically update query results after a transaction has been committed. But I won't really talk deep on that for now. But basically, realm is really fast. And is known to be faster than SQL Lite by a huge margin. We also have other great query options like users dot greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, filtering options not equal to, between, contains, like, man, realm is awesome. But perhaps you want to do this in one line. And you don't want to build 
a query using four lines we could actually do it in one line and that's what i'm about to show you now so let's do that in one line so here we have realm results instead of realm query and i used find all straight away in the building chain so the thing we have here is that we could do the whole query in one or two lines instead of dividing realm query and realm results we could also do limits that is limit the values to 10 if you don't want all the whole data or this is saying get me people with age greater than 18 let's say get me people that are mature than uh what are you allowed to do when you're greater than 18 years mm, many things but get me just 10 people now you could say find all async that is execute this query in a background thread it still finds all but in a background thread now you have other wonderful things you can do with ram now let's remove this and um just get one value find the first so instead of getting a list that is as in a ram result we just want the first person that is greater than 18 years so that is fine first as you can see in the documentation find first finds the first object that fulfills the query condition so it only finds the first of the query so my goal here was to make realm querying simple to you to make you understand it let me remove this it's my ide that does this folding for me so realm is really straightforward easy the write operation easy the read operation easy from here we'll go on to continue the android application you wanted to build so we're going to go on to build a a to-do list app that can swipe to delete and add so that's all you have your model and you have your queries please like and subscribe